Hi there. Uh, so today we're going to talk about finding the vertex from the factored form of an equation. Okay? Uh, so what we already know is how to find the x-intercepts. Right? So we already know that to find the x-intercept, right, first we need to set y is equal to 0, because that's how we find the, the x-intercepts. And then we can common factor if we can, right, which in this case we can, common factor first, okay? And now we need two things to multiply to positive five, add to negative six, and that should be x minus five and x minus one, okay? So now we should remember that if we set this equal to zero, it means that either this is zero Right? which means x is 5, or it means this is 0, which means x is 1. Okay, So remember, if two things multiply, give us 0, one of them has to be 0. Okay, So now what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to figure out what the vertex of that parabola is. Okay, So before we continue, I want to show you what we found here on the graph. Okay, So this is my x-axis y-axis, so we know that here's negative uh, 1, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, here's 5, okay, so we have discovered that we have x-intercepts there and there, okay, so now what we want to do is we want to find out where the vertex is, okay, well it seems like that's going to be challenging, but we should remember from our first encounter with parabolas that parabolas have an axis of symmetry. Okay, so this axis of symmetry is here, and you should also remember from that table that I had you create, um, you should remember that the axis of symmetry is always directly between the two zeros. Okay, so that means that we can see that the x coordinate of the vertex is directly between 1 and 5. Okay, so you should see that that is right at x equals 3. Okay, so we call that the axis of symmetry. Okay, so the axis of symmetry is at x equals 3. Now, in this case, we could see it nicely, okay, but if you can't see it nicely for some reason, the point between two points is just their average. So we know that x is actually going to be 1 plus 5 divided by 2, so the average of the two zeros. Okay, so we can write that down. The axis of symmetry is the average of the two zeros. Okay, so we now know that the x coordinate of the vertex is 3. Okay. Now, if the x-coordinate of the vertex is 3, how could we possibly find a y-coordinate if we know the x-coordinate? Well, for any equation, the reason why we have an equation is because once we know x, we could sub it in and find out what y is, right? So that means that y is going to be 2x squared, so 3 squared, minus 12x plus 10. Okay, so once we know the x-coordinate, we can find the y-coordinate by subbing it into the equation. Okay? So this is going to be 2 times 9 minus 12 times 3, 36, plus 10. So that's 18 plus 10 is 28 minus 36 is negative 8. Okay? So that tells us that there's a vertex at the point 3 negative 8. Okay, so let's plot that. Seven. Okay, so we've got 7 here, which means that negative 8 would be right there. Okay, so I'll call that negative 8. So there's my point right there. That's the vertex. Okay, so now I can just draw my parabola. All right, so it's got a nice curved shape to it. Okay, so there's my parabola. It's got zeros at 1 and 5, and it's got a vertex at 
3, negative 8. Okay, so notice that the vertex is always a set of coordinates. It's a point. Okay, so let's now try one more example with that. So determine the zeros in the vertex of this and use that information to graph the problem. Okay, so first, to find the zeros, okay, we're going to let y equal 0. And now, what type of factoring are we going to use in order to factor this? Well, we have to use complex because there is no common factor. Okay, So we know that it's going to be 3x here and x here because there's the only possibilities. right? And then we're going to see what combinations work. So 3x and x. And then we could try 5 and 3. So x times 5 is 5x, 3x times 3 is 9x, and they happen to add up to 14x, which is good. Okay? So these are our factors, 1, 2. So 3x plus 5 and x plus 3. Okay? So now what we know from trying to find zeros is that 3x plus 5 needs to equal 0, which means 3x is negative 5, which means x is negative 5 over 3, which is about 1.7. Okay? Or we can have our other solution, which says that x plus 3 is 0, which means x is negative 3. Okay? So where that puts us is here's negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, or actually I'm going to do negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, just because of the type of numbers that I have, right? So negative 1.7 is going to be right about here, and negative 3 is right about there, okay? So there's my two zeros, okay? My axis of symmetry is going to be right in between them, okay? I don't know what that number is, but I can find out, right? Because remember we said that we can um, we can always find out what that number is. So my axis of symmetry is x equals negative 3 plus negative 1.7 divided by 2, which is negative 2.35. Okay, so there's the x-coordinate of my vertex, okay? So that's the x-coordinate of the vertex, okay? And now how can we find the y-coordinate? Well, we could just plug it back into our equation, okay? So remember, our equation is y equals 3x squared plus 14x plus 15, okay? So if I know the x-coordinate, I can just plug in the y-coordinate and get 3 negative 2.35 squared plus 14 times negative 2.35 uh, plus 15. Okay, so now I just want everybody to follow along on their calculator on how we do this. Okay, so I have to start with 3 times bracket 2.35 negative. Okay? So for your calculator, it might be negative 2.35. On my calculator, it's 2.35 negative. Right? So close the bracket, square it, and then plus 14 times 2.35 negative, and then plus another 15. Okay? So the y-coordinate is negative 1.3325. Okay, so negative 1.33, I'll call it. Okay, so you might need to do that in a couple of steps in your calculator, but that is the y-coordinate of the vertex. All right, so now we've got a vertex at negative 2.35, comma, negative 1.33. Okay, so we can plot that. So negative 2.3 comes about there, and if I call that 1, 2, negative 1.33 is right about there, okay? 
So there's my parabola. Goes through the zero there, through the zero there. All right. And this is the x-axis, y-axis. Okay. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.